be and my refresh over here. Okay, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, if you're watching as a VOD later on, uh, hi, my name is Ashley. I'm going to do my little spiel right now, just so you know what's going on in this stream. Is typically what happens is we grab a spear like this and uh, we just kind of mash it around into a whole bunch of random shapes. There's a lot of stretching and breaking geometry and stuff like that because we don't really care uh, initially what that looks like or anything we're actually using that stretch geometry to our advantage just for sketching purposes and to have fun so we're treating this like a sketchbook this is not going to be um you know something that you would be using for print it's not you know with an idea in mind that this is going into a game or film or anything like that we're treating this exactly like you would a sketchbook now of course anything that you do in a sketchbook you could always refine later and take it to a state that you'd like but this is quite literally just how to have a whole bunch of fun stretch it a whole bunch break it use dynamesh to your advantage all of that kind of stuff so um yeah that's what we do in this stream if you're interested in hanging out it is four hour long stream it's good to have something to work alongside with you know i i, I like to have these stream these uh zebrush live streams up just because it's nice to have somebody working alongside you it's easier to focus on what you're doing as well it makes you feel like there's other people doing what you're doing um but yeah yeah feel free to hang out and uh we're gonna get going here i did pr uh promise um tomas last night though i did promise him that uh i would be putting slobber <laughs> into whatever it is that we're gonna be sculpting today and the Fallout series does come out, so maybe, maybe we do something Deathclaw inspired, as uh, my good friend uh, Alice or Hexcats uh, suggested as well. So, shh, don't tell Jonah. <laughs> Hi, Leonard. Hi, Pale. Hi, and <laughs> Hey, Reaper. How are you guys doing? How is it going? All right, let's uh, see. I had this set up while I was sitting, and I just switched to sport mode. <laughs> so I'm standing. But, uh, yeah. So I always get my arm caught on this. I always have to, like, actually switch it, switch it. Nothing got done today. Yeah, that's a mood. I, I tried working. I really tried working today, and it was uh, definitely quite a struggle. So I'm there with you. I'm gonna like, I'm literally just gonna go straight in and start thinking Deathclaw here. But, you know, not exactly. It's gonna be like my own kind of version of that. But I've got a picture of a Deathclaw up, anyways. You know, promises, promises. Like I said, we're just gonna be doing a lot of geometry stretching so if that is like really not your thing if this bothers you to the moon and back then um there's other artists <laughs> on the zbrush channel that i think you would have a great time with that are a lot more methodical about what they do but me no sir we go we go and start wild up in here all right and actually, I think I'll take take like this whole back bit up here. Oop, don't want to switch parts when I do stuff. Grab that and pull it up. So I actually, what I'm using right now is um is I'm using AccuCurve on the snake hook, and that specifically is giving me a uh, that these points that are happening. What's up, Lord? Okay. 
Today I am I am of a uh, half mast brain. We're gonna be rambling about randomness, I am sure. The bow wrong, honestly. Pull that back. Thank you. Okay, and then I, I said that we're gonna have like slobber and spit, so let's just start getting that uh that mouth open. <laughs> As I promised. And all of this in here, it's all stretchy right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to dynamesh it. So it's all good. It's all part of the process. Start getting some of these fun guys right here. Fun guys. Actually. You know, you know how everybody makes that joke, um, you know, about like mushrooms, like, oh, he was just such a, like a fun guy. I don't even know how the joke goes, but it's just like, or the like mushroom at the party or whatever was a fun guy, except that doesn't actually make any sense because I keep hearing like, like mushroom scientists say fungi. So it's not even fungi, it's fungi. That's how you pronounce it. Sorry, random. He's got to have a much stronger draw than that. And have I 3D printed some of my art? I haven't done anything of my own. I mean, other people have printed some stuff. Uh, Leonard, I don't know if you're here, if you want to show like what you did. Leonard printed um my hell mask that I did, and he did a really good job of printing that. Which, honestly, it's a feat in and of itself, because I really didn't clean it up that much, so the fact that he was able to do something with it was uh, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And, uh, and then there was a couple of Instagram-related, like, I didn't... I didn't put it on Instagram, but I got, like, DMs from people who wanted to, like, commission me back when I was doing, like, commissions. Um, like really like years ago and uh, that's when I did a couple of like 3D printable things so I think I did one thing for I don't know it was like this uh, a, you know small business called like lunch lunch the lunch collectibles or something like that lunch lunch pal kids or garbage pal kids but it's like lunch kids I don't remember what it's called Oh, you want me to show it? Okay, wait, can I... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can you link me again? I didn't save them on my desktop this time. Wait, actually, no, you, 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 it'll be in our uh, DMs anyways, right? Yeah, it'll be there. Here. Open that in browser. Open in browser. Sorry. And I'll grab the other one right in here and then I'll show you. So this is what Leonard Leonard was able to print out. Um Leonard was able to print out 
this super cool mask which is so cool i don't know that 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 turned out really neat like in the uh in the see-through and he's got like the led in there as well and the thing is like the reason why it's so impressive to me is because i put in like so many of these tiny little details and stuff so the fact that he was like his printer was able to i don't know you did a good job leonard it looks cool um and then the thing like what it was that he printed was was this one whoop right here so this right here this giant and uh and he printed it at that scale and it looked really cool you're re-sculpting the rocks after watching ian today you posted your discord oh okay okay yeah no i know it looks it looks really really cool you did a really good job um actually if you if you if anybody wants that uh printable uh, do i even have it i think i do there's like it's not just my mask but like a whole bunch of others this is uh our sculpting club so if you wanted to like grab them for yourself to play around with they are free but it is uh it's encouraged to put a small donation to the people who ask for donations anyways for them me mine is like 100 percent free go for it go buck wild enjoy <laughs> but all of them are there yes they're still there they're all there and currently the um the stuff that i've been sharing on instagram has all been uh the fol folklore stuff right so the folklore stuff uh, is also supposed to be um, printable, but I don't know how many people are going to actually make it printable. Like me, I don't know if mine is going to be printable right out the gate, but I might um, try. But the whole point is to get them all like, you know, on those uh, on those stands. So everybody has like a cohesion. Kind of cool, actually, to be part of like the these big things. You're too lazy to set up your resin printer? <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, whatever. They're there for whatever you want to do. I still don't have a printer, so I'm always like in awe whenever whenever you guys actually come up with some some stuff. The only the other stuff, um, this is from 3D Total. These ones. These are pretty cool too. I wish I had my own printer so I could print some stuff, but I don't have, I literally don't have space. I have like this whole room, yes, but like then Monty would have literally nowhere to exist. So that's not happening. Let's uh let's start to actually get like a better shape here. Like that. Where all this this guy needs to Okay, do one of these real quick before I dynamesh. Start getting. I think we'll get a little bit more. Okay. 
a little bit more actual cranium action going on here. We'll put some back face masking on so we can start getting build up back here. I'm a very messy sketcher, by the way. I just I, I enjoy kind of letting all of it go. He looks so happy. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to have happy. We're going to. Uh, get some of that going. What's up, comics? Hi, Adala. Sketchy sketcher. Why would I say I'm a sketchy sketcher? I'm just a messed up sketcher. I'm not a sketchy sketcher. I am a completely normal, um, functioning part of society. Human being. Human being of society. Why would I be sketchy? Outer printers. Man, I don't know anything. All you guys are like, like, uh, all you guys are absolute wizards when it comes to, when it comes to printing. I don't, I don't get it. One of these days I will, but today, this year even, is not that day. In here, I think uh, I'm gonna be smart about this. Oops. One folder. Was it pro? Eyes okay. Eyes, eyes fine. I have adjusted. And we will append some balls. Balls. We're going to play with some balls. 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 <laughs> Any new needles? Ah, uh, so far so good. Like, it's at the point where it's like not technically treatable by um, injection. Like, there's still problems with it, but it's like, you know, the doctors don't want to, nobody wants to like, put needles in my eyes if it's like not a thousand percent necessary you know what i mean so we'll see you on friday <laughs> i'm going on friday oh my gosh who got to see the eclipse who got to see the eclipse dude i thought that was the coolest thing ever i've never seen 
I have never seen Totality before, so that was a real treat. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was amazing. I know a lot of people are like, whatever, it doesn't, it's just literally like just the moon in front of the sun. It's not a big deal. Like, no, no, no. Just being there in person, seeing that kind of crazy, that the scale of it and everything is just, it's wild. Like, I always thought that people might have been just like over exaggerating in, uh, in their videos of like oh you know you have to see totality you have to see it it's life-changing no i believe them now <laughs> i really like ah uh, crazy 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 it was only 30 percent. yeah i know yeah i know and when it's only 30 percent, it's like it, it's you might get lucky to see the pinhole effect but other than that it's like whatever but when when it comes to totality that's like insane you were in the 92 percent band trust me when i say that the total like the total eclipse is a thousand times different like it's way crazier than even like 99 percent. like the full coverage is like it's ethereal it's really i didn't even expect it to be that like that different because i experienced the 2017 eclipse as well but that was in when i was in toronto um but that was only partial it was only a partial eclipse and i thought like oh okay i mean like the shadows are kind of weird and it got a little dark and a little bit colder but i wasn't like blown away or anything it was just kind of like damn that's kind of crazy um so this year <laughs> it was wild man i didn't go to the old port though but yeah that was uh where i i i was in a park still very very cool like Elden Ring. Yeah, you look at it and you're like, how is that real? <laughs> that is so crazy. And actually seeing the prominences, like the fact that the prominences, um, like those, the, the little tiny little like pink that you see around it, it literally is pink. The sun is not pink, but the refraction, like what is happening is pink and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and twinkling and you got I, I saw I saw Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus in in the in a line with all of it as well. I literally thought I was gonna like Astel was gonna come down and like a health bar was gonna show up like he's Elden Ring. <laughs> Your dog freaked out and hid in the house. Yeah, that was like another thing too with the eclipse dude. That was crazy. So I was kitted out, like actually kitted out. I brought a whole bunch of different things. Like I wanted to see how caustics um, behaved with with the eclipse, which is it, it felt like it was a little bit different. I'd have to like see if there's any actual evidence of that. It just kind of like the caustics, you know, it looked a little bit interesting. But the shadows, like shadow play, was very cool. Um, seeing like the 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 fuzziness on one end. Like one, like if you had like a 90 degree angle, you'd have one sharp edge and then one fuzzy edge because obviously like the, the, uh, the sun was being blocked out in that way. But yeah, it was really, really sick. And then obviously, you know, you bring your pasta strainers and the colors too, all of, all of the colors getting desaturated. And the fact, the, the reason why that was even happening too, is just, you know, the fact that you're, you're, you, you have like night vision during the day because <laughs> your cones you can't switch from cone vision to rod vision <laughs> you, they, they, they won't work together fast enough it usually takes like you know 40 minutes or so i don't know i'm just saying stuff now but it was, it was really it was really cool Yeah, well, yeah, because it's just like the the stark shadow of the moon on the earth, right, Pro? Um, yeah, I was gonna say too because I was in a park. I got to see some of like what the animals were doing. The squirrels, because we don't have trees, uh, fleshed fleshed out. <laughs> There's no leaves on the trees yet here. Um, so it's all just you know the branches. So we I got to see what the squirrels were up to and. 
all of them ran up to the trees and went into stasis. Like they all just froze and they were not moving through totality. They were like, okay, it's it's time for sleep. And they just stayed like that. The uh as soon as as soon as the um sun came back out and all of the geese just like started honking and freaking out and like flying off as well. That was really crazy as well. Like as soon as the sun came out, they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they all started flying. <laughs> it was crazy. How dark did it get? It like so all the park lights and everything came on. Like it it would trigger like the the street lights and stuff. Um, but it's not like it's not like nighttime. It's like dusk. Like you know, like sunset. Like the sun has gone below the horizon. And if you look three hundred and sixty degrees around you too during totality, it's a sunset everywhere you look. It's not like just one direction. It's just like that sunset band all the way around you. It's really crazy. Uh, you can't stay long? Oh, yeah, no worries. Sorry I'm, like, nerding out about the moon blocking out the sun and whatever, but, yeah. It was really, really cool. And if there is an opportunity for you in the future, because, you know, these happen. They, there's, like, quite a few that are going to be happening in the next couple of years all around the world. But, like, if you have the opportunity to, I would recommend seeing it. It really is a special thing. It's very special. Yeah, it's it's incredible. I it's not underwhelming at all when you see it. I know. Yeah, we're we're very lucky that the moon is like that exact shape and size, right? Shape and size is important. The only like on Saturn, Saturn has some interesting eclipses that would happen too, but because the sun is so much smaller when viewed from Saturn, it's not as like remarkable. But then, if you if you were orbiting Saturn and you got to see an eclipse with the rings, I feel like that would just be magnificent in itself anyway, so whatever. <laughs> uh, thoroughly enjoyed that eclipse. I was going to say something, too, regarding all of that and I totally forgot what it was gonna be I just started getting excited about that I don't even remember I was gonna I was gonna I literally was gonna say something <laughs> yeah you can't be it no you can't be in Saturn no that's not what I say orbiting just like if you were to happen to be in an orb you know what shut up shut up the uh we're gonna we're gonna have some probes we're gonna have we're gonna have some probes going. We're gonna hang out on Titan. We're gonna have the dragonfly doing its thing. It's gonna be flying around. If it succeeds, I really hope it does. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Get this guy. Did I record any of it? No, and I didn't bring my DSLR either. It was one of those things where I just, I chose not to bring my DSLR because we, like here in Montreal, totality was only like a minute and a bit. So I just kind of wanted to soak it in, right? Like I just wanted to like stare at it. Like I just wanted, which by the way, it's totally safe to do so if it's, 
if it is in totality. But if it is like even 99%, then you would have hurt your eyeballs. So hopefully none of you did that. <laughs> Partial happening here on the 21st. Yeah, the partials, like, the partials are cool, don't get me wrong, but they're, like, totality is way different. It's, it's way, way, way different, sorry. Like, very, very much so. Let's do one of these. Monty, yeah, I, I kept him at home. I let him in. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't have I don't have a telescope. I didn't want to go and buy a solar filter. I could have gotten a moderately okay picture, but it's like I would have rather just seen it and experienced it. And I did, and it was life changing. <laughs> Hi Raphael, how are you doing? Yeah, it got really cold um during the eclipse. Moon was a lot closer a long time ago. I know. I know. And fiery hot. Because she came from us. So many uh photos on the internet. I know, yeah. I got some like really crappy ones of like before like I, I wasn't even looking at my phone when I was snapping them. Cause I was just like, I would rather just absorb <laughs> the light of the Lord. I did. I really did. There was somebody, like, there wasn't a lot of people where I was, um, but there was somebody that was literally screaming about the rapture, and I was like, oh my god, please be quiet. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. They, uh, they, 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 they stopped screaming as soon as it was over. I mean, I don't know where they went. Maybe they ascended. I mean, it's part of the experience, I guess, right? <laughs> right, that's what I was going to tell you guys, because somebody asked me about my eye, and then I transitioned into the eclipse, because I was going to say, I'm right, because I have to see my retina specialist this Friday. Anyways, it was just like a, a monthly thing. I will be asking her, as I said on Twitter earlier, I will be asking her the most important question. <laughs> is how many people here <laughs> uh deep ride the redness um looking at the sun oh you know the morbid curiosity it just kind of it's it's winning this time Let's see my eyes hurt i know I know. I hope nobody actually, like, I hope nobody actually got really messed up by it, though, because that, yeah. That ain't fun, you know? That ain't, that ain't it. All right. By the way, for anybody new popping in, what I'm doing right now, because, because, because the Fallout series is coming, I figured, well, we could do, we could do a, uh, a um, Deathclaw inspired boat, you know?
I'll give this a I'll give it a dynamashi. Oh, too low. Good. When is it? I think tonight at nine. So during stream. What's up, Rathon? How you doing? A Funkle Deathclaw already? Yeah, there. I mean, that's been out for a while, I'm sure. The story of this, it's uh, Fallout inspired. We're we're doing our own version though, because I don't want to like directly copy all like you know what Jonah's already doing is uh, perfect, and you cannot improve upon that. So we're just gonna do our own. We're doing our own, you know. Prominent bridge. Hi, these guys. I'm gonna grab the mouth because I promised Tomas. She's not even here. Liar. <laughs> promised him I would put slobber and drool. Which is also what inspired this. Because I haven't, you know, it's been a while since I've done a slobbery, drooly guy, you know? Like, really? Robbery. 
Getting back into sculpting after some time. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. You should. It's good for the soul. I think everybody should be prescribed two hours of sculpting every single day. And give them like kind of a uh, like a thinner thinner kind of mouth here, like thinner jaw. So all of this right here, yeah, I like this being more. Um, what's that stuff? What, what's it called? Like the inside, like where the lizards, like their their mouth is like kind of connected. I can't remember what that's called, but I like it. It's that, basically. Do uh, a quick save is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do. Beep boop beep boop. Because I don't want to crash randomly. With it. it absolutely will happen. That'll happen for sure. I always make this crash. You give your sketchies nicknames. Well, I mean, yeah, kind of. Um, my my saves are all random. Wait, let's actually see. What do we got here for the zebra streams? We've got we've got uh bug on nose. Um, we've got foot. We've got crab made. Lips. Hex <laughs> lamb. Uh, T Rex. Wood dude. Centaur. Sharp thing. Yimahund. Vampire thing. Vampire dude. Demon. Walking demon. Long boy. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 That, that my <laughs> more <Morhein Gunhein. laughs> Yeah, I feel like we have like our own language here. It's great. Bella, you into you're into sculpting or is this Bella from Twitter? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I have to ask. Reveal yourself. G gif in art right now? Hold on, wait, let's see. <gasps> okay, okay, yes. That's cute! That looks great! That looks actually really good. That's a good idol! That's looking nice. Very cool. No, it is Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. Uh. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you guys what I am. I am. I am really slow. Um, I'm not okay. Slow is not the right word. 
I'm fast, but I'm slow because I'm fast. Does that make sense? Like, I'm lagging. I'm I'm lagging with um the folklore thing. I'll show you. I uh, like. Mm. I'll show I'll show you because the thing is like it's like uh what, what how how do you how do you say it um you burn really really hot fast and then you just stop and then you move on to something else like it's uh yeah so wait oh my god I'm clicking everything right now I'll show you I'll show you I'll show you I'll show you what I'm doing if I can find it. This is where I am with the folklore thing. With my meteor dragon, if it'll load. Oh my god, it's so big. Yeah. So this is where we're at right now. And I will finish it. It must be. It must be finished. And I will be one of the uh later posters. But just so you guys have a sneaku piku of the shape-shifting meteor dragon that originated uh, in Lake Ontario. Yes. Sneaku Piku. All right, back to this. Let's get some IMM, some B-I-M-M. Let's do some arms for you. Yeah, I re I restarted it. That's why. Like, I think I re I restarted it a while ago. It's like I'm not happy with whatever was going on. It's kind of kicking my butt because I keep like dropping it and then bringing getting back to it. I really gotta finish it though, because uh, everybody else's is looking super cool. If you haven't been following. I'm sharing all of them on the on socials. The Hellfire Sculpting Club. Let's uh make these <laughs> Hulk smash. <laughs> oh my god. How is it how I have to look at the death claw right now. Like what is it what's his hands look like? What are these handies doing? Oh damn, these are cool. What the heck? Hell yeah. Okay, it ain't gonna be looking like that, that's for sure. Alright. We can do that. Going on, why aren't you?
big old hands four fingies yeah and he's got the he's got the big claw on the side he's got two different like it looks like he's got two different types of hands um hold on let's see oh no they're the same on each that's just a weird picture it doesn't really matter though we're just uh we're doing our own thing anyways, but getting an idea. Hey, Carl. What are your thoughts on tablets and what am I using currently for ZBrush? I am using a Cintiq. It is a older version, 21 HD, but does me pretty good. Um, I think if, because I have a standing desk, so this is not so bad for my posture. Um, if you do not have a standing desk and uh, you're gonna be at your desk for a long period of time, if you're not also like painting and things like that, I, you know, even if you are painting, a lot of 2D artists also don't need to use a screen. Uh, it just helps with hand eye coordination. But if you don't need one, I would say you could just use the desktop tablets, like, you know, where you're looking at your monitor and then you've got it down below and you're just working below. Um, reason is your neck, it, it it starts to get messed up. Like your shoulders get pretty messed up using a Cintiq or other um, screen tablets. So I think it's just sort of like an ergonomics thing. If you are somebody that takes like a lot of breaks, which you should be taking a lot of breaks anyways, and doing a lot of stretches, doing a lot of resistance training and things like that, then this shouldn't, like a screen tablet shouldn't be a problem too much for you. Um, but, you know, I... I <laughs> It, it can, it can start to hurt people, for sure. And also, like, if it's too bright, you can start getting, like, eye problems as well. That's another thing. But it does really, really help with, uh... It does really help with the overall um, hand-eye coordination issues, if you have those. Uh, what's the mysterious book? Oh, you mean the book? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? What's the book? <laughs> is it this? Are you talking about... The book? You you want to know what this is? You want this thing right here? You want me to open it? <laughs> oh. 
It holds. Look, look. It's very ominous. It's very, very ominous. <laughs> Mmm. Oh boy. <laughs> this is forbidden tomes. <laughs> it's so huge. Look at how big it is, too. Look at this thing. Um, so my dad bought this and sent it to me randomly. He was just like <laughs> he was like, yeah, like nobody knows like, you know, how to survive if the apocalypse hits. You should have this book. And I have this book. And it has some really beautiful art in it. I'm not going to lie. This is all hand done. Look at this. Look, look at how pretty. Yeah, it's the book. The book. This one, this is uh, Breaks, Burns, and Wounds. How to Splint an Entire Body. Um... How do you extract penicillin? And it's all like pen, ink, and watercolor. It's really, really pretty. It's got like a lot of actual fun, uh, you know, information. Crop rotation. You want to learn about crop rotation? You, the book has got you, Sam. Okay. You want to learn about arches and bridges? The book. The book has got you. You want to learn, let's see, what, what, what else we got here? Lens and refraction? The book has got you. Generators? Nautical knots. Armor and chain mail. Right? So cool. Honestly, that's actually so, like one of the funniest looking things. I love this. I love this image though. It, look at it. Yeah, I can't. It's such a big book. It's so awkward to like do this on stream. And then there's there's typewriters. Pigeon mail. You want to learn? Dude, guys, look at this. Pigeon mail. In case the apocalypse hits, you'll know you'll know how to use pigeons to send mail. Um, desserts? How to make desserts? Sushi is in the book, because god forbid we ever lose sushi. Meditation. How to meditate. Don't We don't want to forget how to do that. Yeah, so my dad, he was like, people don't just, people don't know what would, like, what to do with themselves. Like, if, you know, the the end of the world hits, you have to, you have to know. And so I think he thought it was, like, a survival guidebook, like, Oh, these mushrooms are safe in the wild and stuff like that. But then it's sort of just like a general knowledge thing. And it's really cool. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Like, I like that book a lot. It is the book. Um, but it's not <laughs> it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna help rebuild society. So <laughs> Yeah, no, I know. My dad is all he bought one for himself too. It's it's fun. He's, he's funny. I like, in the best way, you know? It's great. But the, uh, the actual art in it is really, really nice, though, so... Does it tell you how to make the internet? Wait, you want me to check? Let's see. We got the book. We've got... Let's see. Okay, we've got... We've got table contents. First things, medicine, plants, animals, food, materials, tools, building, mechanics, optics, electricity. We've got battery generators, wires and transformers, incandescent bulbs, electronics and soldering, power plants. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've got internet in here. I think, I think that's it. I don't think that... Um, no, I don't think we've got internet in here. Wait, maybe. Maybe if we go to electronics and soldering, 190. Let's see. Let's see. Electricity. Ooh. Batteries. I mean, these the, the illustrations, like, don't, like, they're really nice. 
generators, wires and transformers, incandescent bulbs, soldering, power plants. Dude, why is this like literally the Tower of Sauron though? Is a power plant is the Tower of Sauron, like the Eye, eye of Sauron. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's like a really, really cool book. It's the book. Anyways, what's the name? No, the book. That's the name. The book. Like the the authors worked a really long time on on doing that. Obviously, like how big it is. They're all they're all hand drawn, all hand painted. I will forgive all of your taxes if there's a nuclear. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Where did that comment come from, Leonard? Yeah, it might be. It might be. I just I found that was kind of fun. There's like some funny nods to things in the in in the book. It was like a it was a Kickstarter um first. I hadn't heard of it until my dad sent it to me randomly. I was, he was just like he called me, he was just like, check the mail, and I was like, What? You never send me anything and now you're sending me the book. Good. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm aware. To be fair, I did learn how to extract penicillin, so you know, I think that's at least valuable. And the the um the images are really cool. So. No harm, no foul. I just thought it was funny. Because like it isn't it is like I don't see it as being like an actual like it's not like a prepper book, but I think I think he had an idea that it might have been a prepper book. stream of how to extract penicillin but only only like the synopsis of information that i've learned from the book so so not dangerous at all
old crispy artworks yeah you i think honestly if i know the it's actually kind of expensive but it's not it's not bad it's not bad to have it's like kind of a it's it's quite a nice like coffee table book kind of thing or if you have like a foyer or like an entry hall or something where you put things for guests to look at i don't but if i did i would put the book there for sure it would be a good uh conversation starter So oh, now it's just sitting there because I don't have any like, you know how I told you I have no room for a 3D printer. Well, the book is now taking up. E <laughs> I don't know where to I don't have anywhere to put it. Client is sorcery that works. It's true. It's true. I actually really like it when uh, when fantasy kind of leans into chemistry. The Martian Project. I just bought. I just bought Project Hail Mary. I haven't read that. Um, I have it. I'm going to read the crap out of that. I want to read that real bad. It looked fun, and I liked The Martian. So, Ooh, um, speaking of sci-fi, Angelus, because I know, I know you're now a converted sci-fi enthusiast. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. Um, you know what you should read is the Silo series. You should do that. It's not space sci-fi, though. I was it's it's so good because like you said that you like the Martian you like Project Hail Mary those have a lot of math in it for sure but it's like the same tone so silo doesn't ha it's not like it's not obtusely hard sci-fi if that makes sense like it leaves a little bit more to your imagination however the writing it it it's it's good like if you like Project Hail Mary, I think you're going to like Silo a lot.
Well, Shift and Dust is correct. Yes, sir. Um, if you've got an e-reader, you can get them all together in one bundle. There, they. It's a lot of. It's it's a long read, but it's worth. It's super worth. Just know that um, the first book, Dust, or no, no, sorry, Wool, the first book, um, goes through multiple characters, so you're not stuck on one person. Um, you're shifting around a lot. But if you're okay with that, you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Because the actual, um, the book was written, like the, the first one was not written as like an initial, like it wasn't supposed to be like a book on its own. It was a short story and then it was expanded to be a whole book. Yeah, you're cool with that. Some people aren't though. They're like, I just want one protagonist to root for and it's not like that. In the in the later the later parts of the book you get like a specific protagonist, but it's not it's not really like that. Have I seen the guy who turned plastic into candy? Tell me it's not wait, what? I'm Wait, I think I've seen, like, a YouTube thing about that. Sorry. Back to business. The Lensman series by E.E. E. Doc Smith. No, I have not. What is that? The Lensman series. Oh, that's that's old. <laughs> oh damn. Who oh, damn? What's this? I mean, the cover looks really cool. I love, I love old sci-fi where they just kind of put every, everybody in like chrome ball suits. It's so good. It's so great. I think we need more chrome. We need chrome to come back. We need a re resurgence of chrome sci-fi. 
Okay, Leonard. Okay. All right. <laughs> this cool chemistry. Oh, you're talking about Nile Nile Re Nile Red or Neil Red or somebody like that, right? $99 per month for three months right now. You're just you just got wool. Wait, $99 per month. What? Dude, did you just pay $99 for Audible? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, bro, you just got ripped. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, so what's the- what's the- what's that old sci-fi? What it, what is it? What is it? Give me a synopsis. Why should I read it? I- I need to read the three-body problem still. I started it, and then I stopped again, and then I started, and then I stopped, and then I'm gonna- I'm gonna actually- I'm gonna actually do it. I'm gonna actually do it now. I have land in Florida. One of sounds like a the sounds that sounds that sounds legit. Should take him up on it. That's how like bright this is. It's like blasting my forehead. Sorry. I don't mean to turn into like a light bulb. You just need to read it again. Yeah, that's fair. You don't you don't have to, it's fine. I just thought, like, if you remembered what it was, you could tell. But if not, then that is A-OK. -okay. Make sure all of this right here is relatively... Okay, let's do a double so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Get these guys off here. I'm gonna remove the horns. To be a smooth enough transition. It's good. Split hidden effect. All right, this guy. Save real quickies.
place. Yeah, so if, if anybody has any questions about like what I'm doing, by the way, at any given point, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I just kind of kind of just do so, you know. If I want to do that, or maybe I should pull that back, make it more round. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I was figuring. I was getting that wrong about the... Okay, I'm going to pull all of this guy. Pull all of this guy right here. Pull him forward. The Cold War in space, but it has shiny chrome stuff in it. <laughs> you only thought of it because it changed main characters every chapter. Ah, yeah, tough read when you're got you, got you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right now, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I keep coming back to like the three body problem. The reason why it's a hard read for me right now is not the actual science part about it. Cause it is pretty like it's it's very um it's pretty it's pretty hard science. There's a lot going on in it, but that's not that's not really the reason. The reason is uh you need to give it your full attention. And usually I start reading things like at nighttime when I'm tired. And it just, it feels like I need to just, like, carve out some time on a weekend to enjoy it.
You've been an artist since you were little. You're curious, did your enjoyment of sculpting go up as you got better? Or did you enjoy it since the beginning, since you enjoy the process of art? Yeah, so um, I drew things a lot as a kid, right? Like, since I was little, I was always, like, drawing stuff. I was, I, I only got into sculpture, like... I mean, it wasn't even really sculpture when I first got into ZBrush. It was just sort of like I was messing with stuff. Like, I didn't really even know what exactly. I just knew I liked video games. And I was like, oh, well, this is like something you do to get into video games, right? Spoiler, I still don't work in video games. But <laughs> um, and uh, and and my, uh, my partner was... Um, using ZBrush as well. So it was it was kind of like one of those things where it it was a little bit monkey see monkey do and I started to like it a lot more. It's not like I got into it being like this is what I have to do. It was sort of like I I just started experimenting with it and like doing stuff and the more that I learned about it the more I was like, "Oh heck yeah." I think it's it it was it was one of those things where I spent a lot of time with it because of the accessibility of like ZBrush just felt really easy to get into for me. Um but I know that like that's not the case for everyone, but for me it was it was pretty it felt pretty good. And so because it was like pretty easy to just pick up and start doing stuff, even if it didn't look good, I didn't have like a I didn't feel like I had a pressure on me to make it look good right off the gate. Like I was just enjoying it. Um, but then I also I was I was at school for animation, right? So you know doing this on on the side I, I think anything that you do on the side it kind of it makes it easier to accept like if you fail for example right and the only way to get better at things is to just like always be like failing and then learning from those failures etc right so i was just like having fun with this All right, see you, Bella. Thank you so much for hanging out. Sorry if you're already gone, but always good to see you.
Save the file. Okay. Okay. We saved it. Okay, let's switch out of sports mode. Dragon's Dogma? Ugh. I wanted to play that and I could not. I had a horrible experience. I had to return it immediately. But I hope you're enjoying it. Bork? What, did you hear a bork? When you first saw ZBrush for the first time, your eyes was filled with stars. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty great. I am, I am a fan of ZBrush. I'm here. Whoa, be fans. But every demon is a rainbow. How do you know that? What's up, warrior? How you doing? Oh, you were talking about Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, it, it was not a good... So I made my character. 
made my character. It's having a blast. It was great. And then 10 minutes in, I started having serious problems with uh, with frame drops. And then suddenly, my character decided to just spawn Squidward lips. Just big honker lips. And I was like, there ain't no way. I'm making a new character. What the hell? I didn't make him like this. Like, this is insane. Why is he, why is he having an allergic reaction? I wish I got a picture of it. It was so stupid. And so I tried restarting the, the game and couldn't even... I Like, I was accepting of the fact, like, okay, there's one save file. That's fine. I, I get it. Like, live with your consequences. I didn't realize that I had to live with the bugs that the game gave me as well. <laughs> Like, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to look at Squidward lips, beautiful Squidward lip dude, all the way up until, like, I could finally change him. Like, I was not taking, I was just like, nah, 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 I'm not doing this. Plus all of, like, the frame dropping that was happening, I was like, ah, nah. That was literally like on launch too. I I I I don't know why I still buy things on launch. Yeah, if it's better, yeah. I have no like urge to play it anymore though, unfortunately. It's like it, it kinda like died, but we'll see. My model looks hot. It's based on like I, I'm I'm kind of like going off of the uh, kind of a what's it called death claw. I'm gonna give it red eyes just to like see what we got. Raw. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. He's got like these like kind of orange. Kinda. There we go. Raw.
want to bring this even lower. I'll open it even more. Make some neck wrinkles from this guy. Weird. Hi Erica, what's up? Da, da, da. Look at that tongue. Create that sort of like little tendon and give it that depth. Make sure to do that with the tongues. I think even create like more of a like side thing. I don't have reference for the death claw tongue or anything. I, I'm just lightly referencing the death claw anyways. Like it's not I'm not trying to do a one-to-one. -one. We're just doing our own version. Definitely gonna be watching the series after stream though. I mean, actually, do you, guys, do you know where it's streaming? The Fallout series? So I might not actually have it if I don't have that streaming service. It's on Amazon? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that. We got that. That's fine. We got that. I'm going to watch that after stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Thank you.
Bling. Oh. Concept scopes you do, are they free form or do you use any kind of so today we're looking roughly at the Death Claw from Fallout by Jonah Loeb? Um because Fallout uh the series is out and uh, I promised Tomas that I would do something slobbery and I figured hey, you know why not? That's where we're at. But this is a light reference. We're not going exact. It's like I said earlier, there is no improving his masterpiece. We're kind of doing, kind of doing our own thing. I think I want to um, I'm make these eyes further apart. Part. I want this entire section to be bigger. They're too close together. Looking a little goofy. But typically, yeah, on these on these streams, we're very light light reference or none at all. What the hell? We have like more like bots here. I don't have mod view on. Am I not a mod anymore? What the hell? Yeah, there it is. Get out of here. Oh, thanks, Maritza. How are you? You're going to ask about posing. What exercises do you do to practice posing for client bio personal projects? Um, so exercises, I think the best thing to do is to do, uh, well, if you draw, do figure figure drawing, right? Like just do a whole bunch of random poses and stuff and look for overall silhouette you want a clean read initially and you want to push energy as well um a good book i find if you're not focused on anatomy you're looking towards pushing your your poses and stuff like that is uh do i even i don't think i have that anymore over here no um it's uh force force gives you a good idea of uh you know movement i don't personally like study from this stuff this is what like you know this was when i first started i i could probably go back to the books honestly like there's a lot of good knowledge in there um but when i'm doing my own personal posing it really depends on the uh, purpose right so if a client wants something for a pitch package and they have boards Sometimes they'll give me like the rough, like what the board uh, sketch is. And then I will essentially take that and push it. And I'll try to make a good composition based on the board that they've given me just to give a final image for um, the pitch package. If it is just for getting something improved, sometimes some clients, they'll just accept T or A pose. Like it doesn't really matter to them. Um, otherwise, I will try to do just some sort of like a slight uh minor posing like if we look at because i don't have a lot of my client work 
online, right? Like I just, I don't because it's all NDA stuff, but a good, uh, you know, what I, what I'm saying, like really, hold on, let's see if I can grab thing. When I talk about like a really, um, light kind of pose, I mean, something like here, if you go, go, go into this and then you see this one, I guess it's a little bit big right here because it's not on my 2k monitor. <laughs> I do. There we go. So when, when this is a very, very light pose, if you go into like transpose master, for example, this is like super, super light to do. You just do a bunch of masking and turn it very slightly. Right. And you're following some sort of a curve. And that way it's like, it's not like I'm doing any sculpture work on it really or anything like that. It's quite literally just to give it some sort of a life and show, you know, overall what that like sculpt would be, uh, you know, as, as like an end product. It doesn't need to be like, you know, when you're doing sculpt handoffs, it doesn't need to be like this super cleaned up thing if it's if it's like concept related, right? Like if it's just for concept, um, it would only really need to matter. Like your pose needs to be really clean and tight if like it's for print, but I don't do a lot of print stuff. So as long as it's working for the screen, then you're good to go. So in terms of exercise, like, you know, yeah, just um, figure, figure drawing, figure sculpting sometimes, you know, just grabbing things and pushing it all over the place is a lot of fun. Being really rough and loose with your 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 work. So you like, you know, even as I'm working here, just grabbing the snake hook and just pulling and just not caring and looking for that energy. Um, good practices are to always be zoomed out of what you're doing. I like having this over here so you can see overall what that silhouette is looking like. Are you getting that um that sort of like that energy that you want right now, this not really, it needs a lot more to be pushed. Um, but then, you know, another thing that I do a lot is like going over to transpose master. I'll T pose the mesh a whole bunch, which will just like grab all of your sub tools, cram it into one, and then you start moving all of them together at once. So you're going to do more of a gestural thing, which honestly, let's just like do that right now, just so I could show. Uh, let's see, let's see. T pose mesh. Bully your sculptures, yeah, pretty much. So this just like throws everything in together. Sometimes I'll like I'll just hide the eyeballs so it doesn't like I don't accidentally grab them. Um and then I'll just make like a really big brush. And I also have this like dynamic brush scale here, so I can change the size of my dynamic brush uh just because like it's easier on larger things. And I will I will grab like areas of the sculpt that I'm doing and I will just like push it like this just to get more energy overall and you can also um go ahead and like grab a mask but it doesn't matter because these are separate uh Poly groups, anyways, because they were their own um, sub tools. So you can start to move things as well, like this. Grab more of that. Oops. I'll do that. Sometimes it takes a little bit too to figure out like how you want to pose something. I'll probably even really throw these arms up. And that goes for then. Mm 
and you can fix all of this stuff too, like after. So yeah, I'll just like this is this is essentially like my workflow, right? Like proposing. It's just a lot of this and going back and forth and getting what I want in terms of flow and energy. Yeah, you can still sculpt in symmetry exactly. It's 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 a really good uh thing to be using this transpose master. I can grab like all of this right here to the back. Right, because I'm looking for that, looking for that kind of craziness. really pushing really really pushing his uh his back here got a whole bunch of spines so we'll do that Follow better. Remember that the rib cage always maintains its shape. 
So if we've got the rib cage right here, we have to remember that it is always going to maintain. Like it is a bone. It does not it does not do stretchies. I mean to a degree, like you can stylize that, right? Like even how I like stylize like the arms a bit. It can have some bend, right? Depending on how you're stylizing stuff, but just keep that in mind that you're dealing with a bone. Step back from the monitor to see. Yeah, it helps. It helps a lot. Like I think, especially when you first start getting into sculpting, you kind of get carried away with details right off the bat. But let me tell you right now, the the best, like the more you're gonna do and do and do, the more you're gonna realize that the blocking stage is one of the more rewarding stages, and the most important. The longer you spend in blocking, getting everything right, the better you're gonna be later on. So you can lay everything else on top. All right, and then we're going to go back to T-Post to sub T. Then you can see how that all, boom, transfers over. We do a little savey wavy. Keep in mind that after, when you're saving your um, file after you T-post to uh, sub-T, it will try to save in the transpose data folder. Um, you're going to have to remember to change that, otherwise you're going to be like, where's my file? <laughs> Stretch, kitties. Is there not a rig tool in ZBrush? I mean, there is. You could do Z Z sphere rigging. I don't really like it. I don't recommend it. It's not rigging like you're used to. It's just sort of like a really primitive um, skinning method based on Z spheres. It's not. It's not super great. You know, I find you. I guess like it, again it depends it depends on the person me personally I would rather just like push things around and sculpt them but if that is really not your jam then you might you might be able to find a use with uh with z spheres and rigging like the z like the z sphere rig but it's just not it's not what you're expecting of like don't don't ex don't expect like a, a robust rig system essentially it's literally just primitive skinning. No, oh, I'm not going to do an IMM. I'm just going to do it like this. Death claw exactly. Yes, sir. Reason being, we've got that fallout coming out. So I just figured, well, I got, you know, I promised Tomas that I would do something with slobber. So here we are.
now. This is too high res. Lower that. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly the death claw. We're we're doing a light inspiration, so no one get your panties in a twist if it's not exact. That's not the goal here. It's <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll pose that after. It looks weird right now, but essentially I'll do one one forward, one backward. Let's quickly save. I'm gonna throw this over once again to T pose. Try and get the uh, all this energy working down here. I think these uh 
bottom guy has got to be kind of outwards. Merge these guys together is what I gotta do. Um, it'll make it easier. Sculpt on. Hello, how are you? How's your going, friend? Dude, Han Yang, uh, I'm like so freaking behind on the, um, like I'm actually kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so behind still on the, uh, the folklore thing. I really got to do that. Yours was so good. Also, my life is so much better now because I let her in. I let her in and everything is better now. Okay. Supposed to sub T. Raptor claws. Yeah, dude, the um the death claw has like raptor feet. And ooh. I know I I know. I know, but it's still I gotta get it done. We oui. how you do tonight? Eight you waited eight years to watch a house? Wait. Oh, you mean um Fallout series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. The ending of House still gets me. Brutal. Oh, life. It just do be like that. Oh yeah, I need to do the drooly bits. <gasps> Thank you for reminding me.
Oh yeah, he's gonna be big old slobbers. Someone said you shouldn't be watching it because it only reinforced certain parts of your personality. I don't know what you mean. Oh. Um. Which character were they uh, referring to? <laughs> which character are they referring to exactly? Uh. <laughs> I hope they didn't mean house. I. I'm. I'm. <laughs> In a funny way, I hope so. It's kind of um, it's kind of a mess of a person. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe you have like the see. I told you I was always right. Gene, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what they were referring to. You just got the SC. My file name is kind of funny. Pearls of Perdition. <laughs> One mil not print optimized. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, delete hidden. I did not use the slime brush. I actually never use the slime brush. Never. No, no, no. I named my own Angela's. I named my own. I wanted to make sure everybody knew that I was not optimized. <laughs> Anyone's doing me dirty, it's myself. I'm the best at doing me dirty. I think there might be. Let's go back to. Yeah. Well, Leonard, it's a good show. So if you ever decide to watch it, it's a it's a classic. Do I have see I'm gonna look let's see, do I have I don't think I have those water brushes anymore. Where would I have put them? Oh no, I do. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's go. Excuse me. Sorry. Got all these splashes.
no, do not like. I'm just gonna delete it. I mean, I mean, Angelus, Leonard printed it. So, I mean, it's printable. Leonard printed it. It's, it's just not ideal. <laughs> Is it fine to use modification of some parts of the 2D concept art to a 3D? What exactly do you mean by that? Like, do you mean like somebody else's concept arts? And like applying it because you'd always need permission from that artist if that's what you're talking about. Yo, bro, say it, don't spray it. What the hell is this? <laughs> Vomit. Blah, Now, Tomas can't say I haven't done sla like slobber in a while. He had too much beer. Yeah, he's like belching right now. He's like, ugh, 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 <laughs> ugh, <laughs> 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 oh, coronavirus, dude. Ugh. Okay. Thank you. I should do voice acting. 
I'm so talented, multifaceted. <laughs> Yeah, for anyone from anyone's concept, you want to make it three D, but you it would be more interested if you change some parts from that concept art. So if you were gonna do that, you could like I mean, yeah, if you're, I would say it's good practice to get the um the permission from the concept artist that you're pulling from, but if you're just using it as like an inspiration and you're not doing a direct copy or something like that, you're just using it to jump off of um you know just credit the concept artist that you were inspired by at the end right but if you're doing a copy like if you're using their art i would uh talk to them specifically about it like if you're copying specific parts of it right you okay that spit is amazing <laughs> Actually, pull this back. I want to like, I want to frame the face more with the horns. Right, I'm gonna merge these guys together. I'm gonna keep the arms separate, but I'm gonna merge this stuff. Um, <laughs> you didn't know where I would be. <laughs> oh my god.
Give him like them lizard cheeks. I don't know what's going on down here. We're just gonna We don't need to we don't need to worry about that right now. God dang, look at them lizard cheeks. Balls. <laughs> no, no, not here, not here. Seabrush make some sort of meetings, hangouts like Monster Palooza when you can just meet some artists and stuff. If yes, will I be there this year? I'm not sure if I'm going to be there this year. I, you know, we'll we'll see. If I'm there, I'll be there in a mask. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have uh they have the Zebrush Summit. So if you want to check that out. That'll be probably uh, later this year, like um, September, October, I think. I don't know if it was like like that time. What the what what month it was this year? I forgot. But yes, you there's a zebra summit, and you can win all kinds of fun prizes. I don't know when zebra summit is this year though. End of September. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha.
How come I never stream on my own channel? Um, question. It is kind of like there's a. I've got honestly. All of them. Some people might find really ridiculous, but one of the bigger ones is. Um, I'm actually like allergic to pretty much all of the makeup I put on now, so you know, people are gonna be like, Well, you could just like make a VTuber, yeah, that's like effort. Or oh you could just like stream without makeup, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the ridiculous, but the other ones are just, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of time to set up. And also like, I find if I'm, if I'm streaming stuff, um, it's more of like on my channel, it, like, it's like, it's fun. It's really fun, but I also can't get stuff done. Like I never, ever get anything done on my, my channel. We're always just like having fun. Print time to- are you actually doing it? That's in- dude, you're insane. Insane. Well, Godspeed. I mean, very impressed with what Leonard did, so. Excited to see also what you're doing do. Hey Vestas, how you doing? Hi Red Whip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I I have uh Oh my god. My okay, I don't know what is going on with my Twitch, but I my Twitch stream doesn't load. Like like I can't I can't see Twitch. Whatever. But my my emotes though. This is this is this emotes right here is the only reason why I keep my channel. <laughs>
forgot to enable symmetry. Oh well, I'll just do it here first. No, no, no. I, I, like, I, yeah, I know that. It's just, uh, like, I know I could stream without cam, but the thing is, like, that's just not, like, a lot of people stream so that they can see the person as well, right? Like, or they, they watch streams so that they can interact and see the person as well. So, unless, like, I was, like, constantly talking and constantly, like, narrating everything. Having no cam is just sort of defeats the purpose, I find, of a stream. It's like you have like a VTuber or something. It's just like, you know, when you watch something, you wa you watch it to like connect with people. And when I say like I'm allergic to my makeup, like the number of times I have like these crazy allergic reactions on my like my eyes just like they get so red and swollen and everything like you like bruh, <laughs> it's crazy. And it only started happening after, like after that, like after I got. COVID for the first time a while ago I like developed a whole bunch of new allergies and my eye got all messed up and still getting treated for it and all that so it's like bruh <laughs> it's rough but I'm doing good I'm doing fine so there's nothing to worry about there like I'm literally doing like I'm thriving healthy exercising blah 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 just saying that like the allergies ain't fun Yo, what's up, Ian? How you doing? How you doing? Ian was right before me. 
um, streaming. So if you don't know Ian and you want to learn ZBrush, he is... Oh. What's going on here? He is a fantastic uh, instructor and artist, so you should definitely check out his streams as well. Let's go ahead and... Moisturize in my lane. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do you you know the um the ad, the ads that Sarah Vay have been running with uh, Michael Sarah, just like absolutely destroying me. <laughs> Michael Sarah V. It's has. How's it going? It's been a while. How's it hanging? Yeah, it's a it's a lightly referenced death claw. So it's not exact. I'm not trying to get it exact. I'm just kind of doing a death claw. <laughs> With the mount? Wait, what? <laughs> Say what? What? Okay, you're gonna go do your meetings? No problem. Thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure to see ya. The hand. I should probably make this long, longer.
What do I think about Blender? I like it. I don't think uh, I didn't like it for sculpting, though. Obviously, otherwise, why would I be here? But yeah, ZBrush is uh, ZBrush is a lot better for sculpting, especially when it comes to responsiveness. Like you can you can do what you need to do with with Blender, right? But I think when it comes to efficiency and speed and just like if if you can get over like you know if you can actually learn the UI, which it to me it doesn't take that much time if you actually give it a second. Because the thing is, like, Blender itself actually has a different way of thinking than other 3D packages, like Maya, for example. Like, if you're coming from Maya into Blender, there's a different way of thinking. So if you already accept that there is a different way of thinking, then coming into ZBrush, you can accept that there's a different way of thinking as well. And they can work really well together. But yeah, like, uh, I actually had started, um, doing a, like, I was going to bring some, some sculpt work over to Blender from ZBrush for rendering, which I'm not going to, you know, open Blender up on the ZBrush stream or anything like that. That's ridiculous. But I was doing I, I another thing that I had I had started doing and then dropped is uh well I was working actually should I even bother started doing um the modeling work over there as well right so I'm doing like a like a big spiral staircase um cuz i read the book uh the book series silo so i was like well i kind of kind of want to make like my own thing so i started doing this and then i stopped right but the idea is to just like make like without like spoiling the actual book like actually make like a really creepy scene because the thing is like um there is a show when they do all of it in concrete but it doesn't feel like it would be as scary as if you did it in metal so i had started doing that and uh then i stopped and i started doing other things because that's that's just me and how i operate and it's very difficult for me to like stick to one one uh, personal project Yeah, okay. So which what book are you, what book are you on? Comics? Retapologizable. Yeah, a rare retapologizable um sculpt from me. Rare. Oh, I'm not a genius. No, please. Please. I do not accept that. Sorry.
you're on shift now okay that's yeah that one is i really enjoyed that one i really liked shift a lot but wait so then so at the end of book one that's what i was doing with that green screenshot that you that i showed it's the end of book one I wanted to do that sort of a scene. Do you think we can work in this industry without being to 3D school, only YouTube and your... Oh, absolutely. No, 100%. You just need to put in the time. You just need to put in the time. That's really what it is. It's all in your portfolio. So like, yeah, absolutely. That's what you made. Okay, gotcha. Are you liking your comics? Because like, that's about the part where I just started getting like super into it is where you, where you are. Ah, autosave. Um, you can't sculpt different ethnicities, I would say just keep trying. So like, uh, you know, if you have, like, you know, when, when you're talking about like Chinese ethnicity, like you, usually what I see a lot of people have a hard time, um, understanding and respecting the eye socket and sort of like the more, um, cause like a lot of people like want to do really harsh and protruded features, but there is little bit more of like an understanding of a um like a, a more like subtle like the plane changes in the face are a lot more subtle a lot of the time your 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 areas right here in like the nose bridge and the um uh orbital socket it's not as like pronounced like things are a lot a lot smoother um and it's like, you know, you don't, you, you need to like respect that like same like bending of the skull, but you can't like, don't make it flat. That's like another thing too, is a lot of people like, like when they first start um, doing, uh, you know, Asian faces, if they've never done that before, you know, they, they don't actively reference that, which like, if you're going to be doing like other ethnicities other than your own, it's a good idea to actually reference um it's always a good idea to reference, but uh, when I, I find one of the things that I see the most is like the folds of the eyes and how that, like how the fat lays on top of the eyes as well is something that isn't respected very well. And then a lot of the time you can't really like tell if the person is supposed to be of one ethnicity or the other. Um, so just keep, keep a good, uh, Keep a good eye on what you're doing and eye huh? in terms of um, the depth of all of your features.
Do I believe in the basilisk? I don't believe in the basilisk. Are you talking about the, the AI basilisk? Roko's basilisk? Mm -hmm. I started making an art piece based on that a while ago, actually. I think I showed you guys, like, an older piece of mine. Never finished it, though, because that is me. What is finishing personal work? Um, here, if you guys don't know, here's like, the. Uh, whoops, actually, I can give you the links. Feel free to follow up any of those, which is right here. Yes, eq.art slash links, if you're interested in following any of the socials or whatever. Um, oh, you want to see the, uh, Hocos Basilisk based thing? Okay. This is, uh, this is what I was doing. A while ago, and I just never finished it. It's Robo's Basilisk. It's <laughs> uh, like some other, some other images of that. Could definitely improve on the anim anatomy now, though, for sure. I feel like I've come a ways since, uh, since whenever I started that one. Feels like forever ago. How's Monty? Monty is good. He doesn't. He's just like, I'm done with you. I don't want. I don't want none of that. Okay, I need to go back into Transpose Master. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's uh it's about the basilisk. I started doing it after I heard about the Roko's basilisk thing. And this was before everybody was like all focused on AI and stuff and I was just kind of like fuddling around with it before it kind of like broke out and you know, a whole bunch of people were like, Oh yeah, now we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna start stealing artists' artwork and stuff. Like I was following, um, you know, language models and things like that beforehand, and even playing around with some of like the demos and things. But you know, then they started going buck wild. So I had started doing that um, as a sort of protest, and you know, just like yeah, this is sort of what I feel like of AI, right? Roko's Basilisk, as they 
some some people are just so incredibly obsessed with uh with that idea i feel like somebody like grimes for example and elon take that stuff a little bit too serious I was gonna jump on over. Savey wavy. Close. You got tired of the floor. Now you want your bed? Whoa. He's so sleepy. Hug? You want a hug? You want a hug? You want to stay there? I'm famous. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I just exercise him a lot, so he uh he gets really tired. I gotta get my steps, you know? So if I gotta get my steps, then he's gotta get his steps, so
The same look Jasper gives, yeah. They're all kind of like that, huh? All them corgis. Crazy, this time I actually like just sat here and sculpted for the most part. We really didn't do too much talking today. We just kind of sat here and sculpted. We almost got like a full dude done. Hey Jack, how's it going? Blessed be, thanketh. Glad you like my death vlog, dude. So, anybody start? I guess, like, yeah, um, the uh, show's out now. Go forth. 
go watch it. Okay, let's do so, so deep. Savorinos, <sighs> <laughs> save it. Where are we at? Ding. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate you. I mean, this is not my concept, right? I mean, we're doing our own thing here by making our own version of the death flow, but it's like most of the hard stuff was figured out by Jonah. Mr. Jonah Loeb. I'm just doing another version. Hey, or, or why are you? How are you?
You know, we're doing a dance club. Making a death claw like dude. Not exactly death claw, but close enough. Are you doing? Oh, what kind of editing do I do? I don't do any. Oh, do you mean uh for the final? Like when I like when I when I post it, like what kind of editing? After like you know like rendering, is that what you're talking about? In general, um, I mean, I'll usually what I do for editing, I'll do inside of uh, Photoshop, but um, typically that just involves like painting over anything that I render out in Keyshot. So my my workflow usually looks like ZBrush, Keyshot, and then Photoshop. Is that what you're asking? Photocopy? What do you mean? You don't know what kind of, oh, okay. So yeah, so we're, right now we're doing sculpture. We're, we're doing a sculpt, right? So sculpture is like a 3D model basically, but you're not worrying so much about the technicalities of it. And I will, so you can treat it the same as you would uh, like a clay model, right? Clay sculpture. And then I will bring this 
over to um, to Keyshot, which is a separate render engine. So it's a program specifically for rendering, which is essentially lighting it, putting a light on it, and giving it color and texture. So I will do all of those things, and then I will make many passes of it, bring those passes those of light and color and texture, etc., into Photoshop, in which case I will composite them. I will put them all together, and then I will paint on top of it to get the exact look that I'm looking for. So it is very involved. This here is ZBrush, which is Maxon's program. Yeah, I mean, I made a career out of it though, right? So it's okay if it's time consuming, if I get paid. <laughs> I also genuinely en enjoy it, right? Like it's uh, every artist has their medium and this is definitely my favorite medium. I also draw and paint um, traditionally, but I really enjoy doing it on the computer. Ooh. Oh. What time is it? Oh, we've got ten more minutes. Yeah, ding. Let's see if we can't do something over here. Fix these leggies.
Hi, Sable. Hi, Kazzy. How are you? Good, good. I'm doing good. Doing good. Play tubes. Yeah, I guess we didn't take a break tonight, did we? Kind of went right through. I think I have time to like do all of that. Hey, Rotter. Uh, it's like. the wrong way around.
Uh, this is just the slash two brush. Yeah, you can get it inside of uh, the light box if you go to brush. And then you go over to the slash right here. Slash two is right in there. Uh, you can't see it because my camera is in the way. There it is. Right there. Right here. So honestly, I think I might just leave it without a whole bunch of, uh, I went too far back. I'm just going to leave it without the scales for now because it just kind of looks cheap when I rush it. Slash S L A A S S H two slash two. What I could do is do a little bit of like a pose. So I'll quickly save this. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's slash. And... Does anybody know if there's anybody on after me today? Make sure I get off on time. Yeah, one sitting. But I mean, it's not like I had to like do a lot of design work though, right, Patrick? Like, Deathclaw already exists, so. Also, guys, if you don't know Patrick Forty, and you like food, also like what what's wrong with you if you don't like food? But if you like food, you should check out his work and his streams. His streams are great. He's an incredible food artist. Are you are you on next? Do you want me to like do it like? I, I was I was asking if uh, somebody's on like directly after me because I wanted to just like do like a quick pose for this dude, but if uh, I don't want to take up any more time, I'm literally just like this is whatever.
just looks kind of silly because his belly is all messed up. Look at that. No one's following me. Oh, man. No, you got one in like 20 days. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, yeah, directly after. I'll, okay, I'll just stream in for 20 days. We're not stopping. Let's see how crazy this gets in 20 days when I'm like literally like dying. Probably would die at your desk if you had to go 20 days straight. I do that. Oh, yeah. Xenomorph? Not quite. Nah, this this is Deathclaw. Because if you didn't know, that Fallout show, it do be on now on Prime. I want to go and watch it. But yeah, somebody was asking me about like what I would do for posing and this is sort of like if I wanted to do like a really quick pose just to like show off what it was that I was working on it would be something along the lines of this like it wouldn't be like super super refined just to like just to kind of get it across like for for a uh for client if 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 and i only really need to do that too if the client has a hard time like seeing what's what's up because normally we can just kind of do iterations in t-pose or a-pose just real quick for like a silhouette but if the client isn't isn't seeing it then uh then you just do like a really quick kind of kind of thing you know Quick pose. He's sneaking. Please make Xenomorph. I, I have made a Xenomorph in the past. Yeah, I think, yeah.
need to uh, relax that a little bit more on the shoulders. Oops. it's a uh it's it's based off of a death claw from um fallout I don't think so. Go back. Go back. Not turning that way. Could turn that way though. Xenomorph video link? Uh I don't know if I have that. I don't think I have that. I mean, I've got. Mm, see, I mean, you can check out like my my Twitch channel. You can you you check that. I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, I like the. I think. I think the uh, the death claw is very positive, but he's uh, probably a bad guy because you have to kill him. To kill lots of them. Honestly, he's probably just like misunderstood. What if this beast is knocking at the door? What will you do? Well, you could always play Fallout and uh, and figure out what you would do, right? <laughs>
Fuck him. Exactly. In slow motion. That's exactly what you should do. This dude's coming for a booty call at 3 a.m. He just wants a hug. You know, he, that's exactly it. Actually, that might just work fine as is. Do you have any review about oh my god it is i'm already 16 minutes past <laughs> somebody asked me about ai i'm like i gotta go <laughs> i don't i think that ai in general right now is just like it's so it's just the fact that it's it's based around other people's artwork it doesn't do anything original i think people who think it does something original are mostly not artists or they haven't expanded and like seen enough artists to realize that it's really not original stuff like it's 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 all just sort of like ripping and i i i understand that like to a degree, you might see what I'm doing here and be like, well, you're just, you're doing something that already exists. This is, this is Fallout. This is like, this already exists, but it's my interpretation of said, um, creature, which is completely different than like straight up copying, which is what AI does. And so I, I don't really see it as art. I just like, it's just kind of image generation and it's like not even like uh i don't know i don't i don't know how to like talk about this in a very short format i don't like it and i think the impact it's having on artists in general just it sucks it just really sucks but i could i could rant forever about it and talk about a lot of different things i just it's quite late and you caught me on this earlier maybe i would have gone into it and then we wouldn't have gotten as far into into this sculpt as we did because i would have been talking all stream but if anything i would recommend if you are an artist and your school or whatever is encouraging you to use ai and learn to use ai i would actually try and push against that Personally, I would say that it is a good thing for you to practice your own art and your own fundamentals. Because at the end of the day, the AI cannot function without input. It does not create anything interesting or original without input. And good artists will always be needed so never never stop doing what you're doing like never stop learning art like 
actual art. Don't ever rely on uh, on AI. I think, uh, in it, so. no. All right, I think that's good enough. Uh, take a sub D. There we go. I didn't get to giving them scales and stuff, but I think that's pretty decent for one stream. Yeah. Yeah, claw. Yeah, let me just like. It is a. Uh, Back looking okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there he is, Saverinos. I went twenty minutes over time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Let's see, let's see. Let's get him. Yeah. My here. Eh. 
going to be ending stream. I will do So wait. Man, it's not going to fit in here. Maybe I can do them smaller. Okay, we've got, we've got, we've got, it. here, do one more straight on, one, like, E. Cool. This is control shift, by the way, or or shift S, by the way. There we go. Good, 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 good. We got some death claw up in this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you all had a good time. I was extremely uh, locked in this time, surprisingly. Normally we talk and talk and talk. We did not do very much talking today. So, um, yeah, cut those toenails. I don't know. I like them long. <laughs> All right. So if you have any uh, interest in catching my streams in the future, feel free to Let me get you the links. So follow me on any of my socials, which are in the description or the chat rather, or you can click and grab uh, acubed.art slash links. It's right here as well um, for anybody watching the VOD. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. If you're not always already um, subscribed to Maxon slash Pixlogic slash ZBrush, um, definitely subscribe on whatever platform it is that you're watching because there's a lot of other really, really talented artists that stream on this channel, and you're bound to learn a whole lot more with a lot of other different, uh, like a lot different techniques other than mine. Sorry, I'm a little tired right now. It's like 10.30. So yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Have a uh, wonderful evening. Go watch Fallout, I guess. And uh, if you're interested in the actual Deathclaw, Jonah Loeb is the original artist uh, for the Fallout Deathclaw. So check out Jonah Loeb as well. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.